Hi! So today, 15 March 2021, here in Italy, it's the uh, National uh, Eating Disorder Action Day and I just wanted to spend a few words on this topic. So what I can say is that you can't prevent an eating disorder and uh, you don't even really know if some of your friends or some of your dears are going through an eating disorder. Uh, so what you can know is that sometimes it happens that uh, eating disorder happens to uh, people who are trying in some way to sabotage themselves. Well, the thing is that um, these people put all their guilt and worries and insecurities and all the bad things that are going through uh, into one thing and they try so hard to control that specific thing. In my own experience it was way uh, easier to put all my problems into one thing and to establish that specific thing was the source of all the bad in my life. It was so easy that all the thing, all my worries were linked to food. The food, it was the bad thing in my life, that I didn't deserve anything because I was eating too much or not too much, it depends. It, it is not something that it is linked to your appearance, but sometimes it is more something that is linked to a bad condition inside yourself or something that you feel guilty about it and that you can't actually control so that that makes this disorders so uh, affect people so negatively food it is not just food food is way more than than a thing that done that you actually don't deserve that food is full not just for your body but it is also full for your brain and for your heart and for your mind for your emotions and when you don't fool yourself you also put yourself at risk so what I'm trying to say is that yes understanding that you are going through an eating disorder is so hard sometimes so hard to start your healing process and your healing journey and to uh, also reach out, uh, reaching for help it is so hard and to have the also the courage to let yourself heal to accept that you are you deserve to heal but the thing is that sometimes there is a big lack between you that you understand that you're having an issue and you that you actually start a healing process so what my suggestion can be is that when you realize that you are going through an eating disorder if you're brave enough if you think that you deserve reach for help reach for a therapist uh, reach for an expert, reach for a professional figure that actually uh, treat this kind of disorders. Because trying to reach for help with your parents or with your friends, yes, you can try to do that, but sometimes people also need and deserve another kind of help. Now I think it is so important to let other people know and understand that trying to reach professional help doesn't make the problem bigger or smaller. It gives the problem a real aspect and also I think it gives a real image of this issue.